Meat Boy is back and today Meat Boy is playing with fish. I'm going to show you guys a super simple delicious lemon butter sauce and not only is this amazing to put on any seafood, this technique can be utilized to make a sauce from any liquid you want. Beef stock, chicken stock, orange juice, red wine vinegar, pineapple juice. Simply by emulsifying butter into a liquid, we have a delicious topping. Let's get started. Here I just have my filet of cod lightly poaching in some butter while we prepare the sauce. So for the sauce, you need some organic lemons. And we're just gonna juice these. Some salt, of course. A little bit of honey, not really necessary. Most importantly, high quality butter. Normally I get raw butter from a local farm. I saw this at Whole Foods and they ran out of their old brand of New Zealand butter. This is a new one. This was $7 for eight ounces of butter. So you might as well go to the farm and get the raw butter. But what's really interesting is on the nutrition label of this butter, you know, vitamin D, vitamin A, it's much more nutritious. The grass-fed butter, you know, just the color of it, you know, you, it's like yellow, orange, beautiful. This is what's really gonna add a lot of flavor to the sauce. And it's important that the butter is cold. It doesn't have to be like frozen or anything, but you definitely want it to be really cold. So ideally the fish is done cooking and we're ready to pour the sauce on top all at the same time because this sauce will break. I'm gonna put this pan on a low heat for now. We're gonna juice these lemons. If you don't have lemons, organic lemons, and you're doing a white fish, you can do white wine, white wine vinegar, champagne, champagne vinegar. Oh my God, Frank is a carnivore, he uses lemons so he doesn't get scurvy. I've made this sauce many times for my family. Not once for myself though. Now I'm putting this jet on high heat because we need to reduce this lemon juice. I think you could technically make this sauce raw if you wanted to. What you would do is, you know, you put a smaller amount of lemon juice, you'd keep it below like 95 degrees. And since butter melts at like 90 degrees or something, you could emulsify this and keep it as a raw sauce if you really wanted to. I don't care too much about that today, so. First step is to reduce this liquid, concentrate the flavor a little bit. This is more important with stocks and broths and wines, not as much lemon juice because it's really sharp, really acidic. But if you want a thicker sauce, just want to boil this down by about half. While this is reducing, I'm just gonna want to cut the butter into manageable chunks to put into this sauce. Okay, so this is reduced by half, and if you taste this, it's like a really concentrated lemon flavor, but it's not as sharp or acidic as the raw version. We're just gonna keep this off the heat for a second because we want this butter to melt as slowly as possible. If you put the butter in here and it's too hot, the oils in the butter are gonna separate from the milk proteins, and that's not what we want. So we want the pan to cool off. We'll lower the heat here. So first piece of butter goes in. You just want to really keep it moving. You know, put it on the other side of the pan, keep it moving, keep the liquid moving a lot. Completely off the heat. And if the butter is melting too quickly, you want to add the next batch of butter pretty fast so it cools down the whole mixture. Now, as you can see here, we have an emulsified mixture of the melted butter and the lemon juice. Whereas normally, if you just had melted butter and lemon juice, it would be separated. And I like adding a little bit of honey for sweetness. It really adds a lot of complexity to the dish. So that's almost ready. And we're gonna take our cod filet. And here we have it, guys. The lemon butter sauce on the cod. I'm sorry you guys are gonna miss Gina this week. I got home late from my other job and uh, we couldn't make it work in time, but hey, Frankie boy's just as entertaining. If you don't like fish, or if you have some picky kids who don't like fish, this is a great way to have it. And this is even better on like, fatty fish, because usually things like mackerel and herring aren't that approachable. You could even put a little more honey in here for kids. That's what I would do. Put like a tablespoon or two of honey in here, they'll love it. It's so simple, yet so balanced. 
You know, you have the sharp bite of the lemon juice. The butter's really rich, nutty, grassy. And of course the cod, slight ocean flavor. Great dish, guys. The nice thing about this sauce is that it really adds the fat that the lean fish needs, of course with the additional nutrients. Thank you guys for joining me. Please let me know what recipes you'd like to see in the future. I think we'll do the Master Chef dish next week, and then maybe after that we'll do a Dover Saumunier that has a pretty similar sauce to this. If you guys want to support me, please like the video, subscribe, of course hit that bell icon. Want to support me further? Check out my book, The Ancestral Indigenous Diet, Frankie's Free Range Meat for high quality animal foods, Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredient hygiene and cosmetic products, and you can also go to frank-stefano.com for one-on-one -on -one consultations. Thanks again for joining me guys, and take care.